Hi, I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast Distribution, and today I want to show you a little application that will make your vMix productions simpler and more automated. It's called HTTP Matrix, and the best part about it is it's free. It's a little application that uses the vMix API to schedule certain commands for doing things like starting and stopping recording, or turning a bug on every five minutes, or um, changing to different inputs. You can use it to automate your productions or you can use it to simplify your remote control of vMix. Let me show you a little bit about what I mean. So this is HTTP Matrix. It's just a little application with a couple of buttons on it. And those buttons are programmed by a text file which lives in the same folder as the program. So this is the text file. Uh, it has nine buttons in it that are defined kind of in these little blocks. And this first um, line says fade, and that tells you what the button will be labeled. The second one here is the actual HTTP command itself. It's a command that is broken down into several parts. The IP address, in this case, this number means the local, sys the local computer. This is the port that vMix is listening on. This says, you know, what function is. Most of this is just all the same uh, from command to command. But then the command itself here is fade, and it has an optional value of duration of 1,000, which is 1,000 milliseconds, which is one second. The um, buttons also have the ability to trigger at a certain time. So this one down here is for starting and stopping recording, and it is set to turn on at 10.18.20 a.m. and turn off at 10.18.50 a.m. You don't need to have a start and a stop time. For example, this fade is set off to go at 10.17.30 a.m. And for the off time, it's set to none. And if you look up here, you'll see this has a fade time, a start time of 10.17.30, and then it has start and stop here for the record. For the stream button, we've done start and stop streaming, and then um, we have a couple of other versions down here. Let's go take a look at how you yourself can find out uh, how to make some of your own commands. And the easiest way to do that is to go and look at the shortcuts. So if we go into shortcuts and look under functions, you'll see that there are a lot of them in here. And these actually double as API commands. So if I wanted to turn overlay 4 on, I would go to overlays and I could look at um, overlay input 4 would be the command that I would use. And if I go over here and I type in as the function equals overlay input 4, and then if I want to set it up to start a particular input, I would just say input equals 22. So input number 22 is the one that's being put into overlay input 4. And this will turn it on and off. So if I click that button, it turns it on and turns it off. I'm also using uh, HTTP matrix to run this particular little show here. I can use it to switch back and forth between my desktop, my camera, and um, the program out of the system. And what I've done to do that is I've selected the IP address of the system that is actually recording this. So this version of vMix that you see here isn't doing the recording of this production. It's um, just showing you that you can fade or turn recording on and off, etc. I'm also using it to uh, turn recording on and off on the other system. So here's the IP address of the system and start and stop recording. So I can see in this window here, this is my other um, system. I can watch that. I can see that I've turned record on and know that it's actually running. And this is a handy little tool for me who I do demos like this all the time and I need to control another system that is remote and that lets me do this and I can configure this any which way to control multiple vMix systems. Um, if you wanted to control uh, more than nine um, actions, you can use something called HTTP matrix list, which is another program included in the download. And this is just a sheet of um, an unlimited number of commands. So this is uh, several commands starting at certain times, and these are the commands that will be executed. And you could use this that this would be more appropriate for turning your um, bug on and off every five minutes for 10 hours. Uh, so that, that would 
instead of having to sit there and press that button every once in a while, uh, this would do it automatically. Another way that this could be implemented is you would have it start record and then go through your inputs, do your uh, intro video, um, go to your main camera, bring up your lower third, um, go to your wide shot, and then um, you could leave it blank for a while for an operator to switch between different cameras. And then you could have your wrap up, which is at a particular time, uh, roll your credits, uh, stop recording, stop streaming. So the whole function is automated, except for, for perhaps um, a, a little controller to let the host uh, switch between different cameras. So HTTP Matrix has a lot of different um, lot of different possibilities because every command in vMix is available through the API uh, interface and every API interface can be either tied to one of these buttons or scheduled to trigger at a certain time. So this simple little application can help make your uh, live production simpler and it can help automate uh, other productions. So it's a great little tool to have in your arsenal and of course it's free. So. If you have any questions, uh, you can download it from usbroadcast.co, and if you want to learn more about APIs, uh, or if you have a particular question on how to use the API commands, you're trying to do something in particular, feel free to hop on the Facebook forums and ask questions. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.